What's up, everyone? Andrew Reiner here with another super replay of Killer Seven. Joined today by Joe Juba. That's me. Leo Vader. Sports! And Frankenberry. That's me. That's what you get for opening up to us, Sirian. That's right. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is. See, this is a total ripoff. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay. It's pretty good, though. Everyone remembers this from last week. <laughs> You can see why legally they had to change this. They did change it? Yeah, oh yeah, there's a totally different intro that they had that's like keeps a similar vibe. But that one sounds like Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are the pro star. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. Burn. What? <laughs> I see a little pro star over there, Scaramouche. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, very nice. Good callback to last episode. Wow. Connective tissue. It's all one story. One <laughs> grand story being told. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. All right, so we're nearing the end of this, according to Suriel's estimates here. The penultimate sewed. But isn't this the last level? Uh, It's the last level split. Well... It's not the last level, but it, there is an epilogue. But this one's split up into two parts, like the... Oh, uh, uh, okay. Like ones. the Harry Potter. Yeah. And the, but, uh, Hall- Deathly, Deathly Hallows. 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 Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Or the latest Avengers movie, probably. Hey. Or, hey. Where do you guys I, think uh, Avengers is going? Yeah. To theaters. Once again, next year. <laughs> Straight to the top. <laughs> they said... <laughs> <laughs> So they said they can't even reveal the name of the next one because it's a spoiler. Yeah, that's, how do you but market still that? Gonna spoil it, right? Oh, yeah. I guess it's a spoiler for the first one. Is that the concern? Yeah. How do you market that? Oh, I mean, I think at some point they just haven't revealed it yet. Like, like, like now, give it a give it a couple months. Everyone has seen it. Yeah, but then they ten give it years a new from name. now, a new generation wants to watch these movies. Well, uh, who cares? I mean, who turn, cares about the children? It, 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 well, no, like, it turns out that like, like at that point, like, okay, return Star Wars, return of the Jedi. It's like, oh, the Jedi come back. We don't worry about like today's kids knowing that the Jedi return. But I feel like it's a little more, I don't know. This it's, seems like it's, it's going to be more like, uh, like the title they seem to be implying is something like, you know, for, for return of the Jedi being called, what do we do now that Darth Vader is dead? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I wonder, yeah, I wonder what they're going to do. <laughs> that, that, sh- that really should have been the alternate title for The Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah. That is a list we need to do. Alternate titles for movies. That <laughs> are do Star Wars. That spoiler spoil the movie. Yeah, spoilerific titles for sequels that spoil the previous movie. <laughs> okay, okay. What do we do now that Darth Vader is dead? <laughs> Episode nine. Uh, what could The Godfather two turn into? I'd, I've actually only ever seen the first Godfather. Movie. Ooh, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I feel pretty clean, good about that. Cleaning the horse's head off of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be more like yikes that dry cleaning bill. <laughs> Everybody agrees The Godfather Part two yikes that dry cleaning <laughs> bill surpassed the first. <laughs> Uh, Harry Potter book seven Dumbledore's funeral <laughs> <laughs> book seven part two return of Dumbledore's funeral <laughs> we didn't do it right th- that time we have to do it again everyone dress up <laughs> are there tuxedos in the Harry Potter world great question great question uh, yes Yep. Okay. Yeah, there are. There absolutely are. They're like, yeah, they wore them at the dance, right? Yeah. yeah, dress robes, they call them. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Ugh. You wizards. Always got to do it different. <laughs> <laughs> it's Muggle Way or the Highway. <laughs> All right, we don't want to spoil any movies for people. Yeah, well, that's what well, we Well, I mean, I mean Harry Potter. There's a statue. Let's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. I'm just saying, let's not do, like, Avengers 2. Sure. Right, let's not right. do, like, the stuff that's recent. Thing, things that are just like cultural touchstones now. Yes, like, exactly. Like Sixth Sense or Usual Suspects. Like people know those endings. Now. Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> and they all the were usual films great sequels. The usual suspects too. Kaiser Soze tells another <laughs> lie. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings 2. They still have not put the ring in the mountain. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> or, well, no, what happens hmm. in the, what happens in that first, like, Lord of the Rings Life 2. Life without Boromir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Life or, after Boromir. No, no, no. Life after Boromir and Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. Because he right. dies in that first one. Parentheses JK. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. He's back and stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Peter Jackson. By Peter Jackson. Noted author Peter Jackson. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think what other big series there are that we could cover without giving stuff away too much. Yeah. But also yet with important continuity. Yes. Like the DC universe. Oh. <laughs> that's one you could spoil that's recent. Who cares? <laughs> wow. 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 Joe. You're no, coming I... out against the DC films? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen <laughs> That's how against them, against them he is. Um, actually, that's not totally true. I saw Suicide Squad. That's, well, that's the one the you one? chose, huh? Uh, yeah. And I mean, it's not like there's a, you should have watched this other one instead. They're all kind of like, Wonder Woman's probably the best one. But Oh, wait. No, I did see Wonder Woman. Yep. Yep. You love these things. <laughs> and the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Do those count? Oh, yeah. Those are, well, I guess those nothing are, really those happens. Are, DC movies, but they're not part of their attempts to unify them, I guess. I haven't seen the Ben Affleck Batman movies. Those don't exist yet. Huh. That's a good excuse. But he is Batman. Yeah, there's Batman v Superman. Well, I think he just okay. means the, one, like the ones in too. which Ben Affleck is Batman. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But there is a Ben Affleck, supposedly, Batman movie coming. Okay. Maybe. He was going to write and direct it. Now there's someone else working on it. He might not be Batman anymore. We don't know. Who's the new Batman? I don't know. Who do we theorize? Top mm. five new Batmans. Oh. Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, man. Wonder Woman. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Who would be a good Batman? Because in, in that universe, he's pretty old, right? Like he's 40-something. Morgan Freeman. So, yeah, so another old guy has to take over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the idea of Morgan Freeman because he was the, like, Batman Fox. helper in the yeah. la- in the in that trilogy. Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. He knows all the him. secrets. He makes the tech. Yeah, he could do it. That would have been an interesting take on Batman if they made him very old for those movies. I think like, I... Batman like, Beyond. We haven't seen in movies so much. I'd go with the same celebrity that I would let eat me if he wanted to, Ray Wise. Uh, mm, Lee I mean, Roy Wise. <laughs> Roy Wise. <laughs> Leland, As Batman? Uh, yeah. Hmm. I think that he could cut... Like he'd, he'd cut a dapper figure as old Bruce Wayne. And uh, yeah, I think he could pull it off. He'd be a great Two-Face also. Think, uh, James oh, Spader would be a pretty good old Batman. Can you do a yeah. James Spader impression? Yeah. Sam? My James Spader impression? Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Not really. Uh, I'm... I'm James Spader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he always does that in the office. He's always making us crack up with that impression. <laughs> I don't think that James Spader has like the type of voice that you can do impressions of. Oh, he okay. totally does. Oh, wait. No, who does then, Surreal? Who, who could you do an impression of for us right now? Uh, Darth Vader. Okay. The actor. Hi, Darth I'm Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas! <laughs> James Earl Jones! <laughs> Noted hillbilly, James Earl Jones is here with us. How do you do, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> is he coming back in the Star Wars movies, do you think? James Earl Jones? Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing him back. For... He was in Star Wars Rebels. Wasn't he in... Didn't they get him to do him in, the, in Rogue One also? Yeah. Okay. Though that's that's weird, cause like man, there are some good sound alikes for Darth Vader out there. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's like like that's one of those where if he decided that he didn't want to do it anymore, I don't think it would suffer. I would still have him read every word in a dictionary into a microphone. And just, just create the I mean, AI James Earl Jones. He's right. he has definitely done man, I'm He not, did an audiobook for the Bible, that's which what is I was, at least eighty percent of the words. That's what I was thinking, is like 
I could I thought I was crazy, but yeah, I think he did that. Him, Morgan Freeman, who else needs to record everything ever? And so we just create AI on them. Like if there is a robot revolution, those are the voices. One of those two guys should be the voice of the robots. Yeah. I gotta go. So now we about. all died in the sounds of Morgan Freeman. I would be okay with that. Take over. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> they have the best voices in movie history, right? <laughs> Probably. If we're talking like who else should record every word in the English language, it should be one of us so that we can just do it just to kind of like burn out the clock on a super replay. <laughs> oh, that's true. Just Ooh. start listing words. Yeah. We could get started on Extra Life in a second room. We'll set up like an exhibit. Someone just reading the dictionary. That's for great. 24 hours straight. Man, okay. This Aardvark. Would be, this would be totally... <laughs> Bored in the double A's already. <laughs> <laughs> totally not worth any the time that it would take remotely but it would be funny to do that to just to have to have someone read a bunch of words and then try to assemble like mm. a, a replay episode or something with one of us <laughs> there just cut together from <laughs> from random words well we thought we did that with Dan Reichert in that uh Res Evil what was it Res Evil 4 super replay where we thought it was a soundboard that Ben Hansen was using but it turned out it was Dan acting as a soundboard live from California. Huh. Or maybe New York. I don't know where he was at the time, but that's a good bet. Yeah, he pulled one over on us. It was a good bet. It was one of our better moments. In all these years of making content, it was one of the highlights. Huh. One of the few highlights. <laughs> one of the, yeah. It's normally just a swamp out here. Yeah, whenever I look at the views on these things, I'm like, that's got to be a mistake. Like, tap the, t the screen, <laughs> tap the monitor, see if it goes down. <laughs> That's how monitors work. Yeah, it's a monitor issue. <laughs> Just a glitch. Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. So what are we doing, Serial? Uh, we need to go into each one of these floors and get a shell. All right. So par for the course. And there's several TV rooms. And she's dead. She's dead. She's gone. <sighs> Uh, but we do we can't save because there's a new steward who is helping us save. Great. He knows how the TV works. <laughs> Where is it, Zero? I don't see it. Where is it? Find it. Just start shooting. Where? So that's not an enemy right there? No. What who, what is that thing? That was Spider Man. It was a uh, Kaede's <laughs> friend, I think. We explained early on that Okay. Whenever he's he's nearby, there's a thing with Kate that you need. Could you keep it down, Serial? Oh, sorry. Uh, Screaming. Bullets. I need to solve this puzzle. Ooh, this is the kind of thrilling commentary we'd have. <laughs> Make lists yeah. of episodes. Here we go. Game focused. Puzzles. What? I like. The, did we answer our Batman question? Oh, who should be Batman? Well, who should be old Batman, I think, is what it turned into. Yeah, yeah I think we, we got Morgan Freeman, James Spader. George H.W. Bush. <laughs> Ray Wise. Ray Wise. Ray Wise. Uh, Ex-president <laughs> George. <laughs> makes his uh, exciting return as an actor <laughs> playing Batman. He needs a comeback. Yeah. You know who could use a good comeback? The Bushes. <laughs> That's maybe not a great joke for right now. That's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can just say we recorded this before anything happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel, don't spoil it. It's February 6th. <laughs> <laughs> sure is cold here in Minnesota. <laughs> As we all say when it's cold in Minnesota. <laughs> Actually, we do. Yeah. Minnesotans really like talking about the weather. That's true. Yeah. Still cold out there, huh? <laughs> As on schedule, every winter, it gets cold. What you looking for? I'm looking for a way to turn off the uh, power cord here. Don't want to shoot it. Oh yeah, that's dangerous. I think I actually do have to shoot it. I don't remember correctly. I don't. Oh. oh. I figured something out. Look at that. Electricity <laughs> supply cut off. Solving a puzzle together. Which is like you would think you would just not use bullets, but that's not what this. What that's would like, you have done if I wasn't here? I think I probably would. Have Try to shoot it eventually, but no, we'll yeah. never know. Probably not. We'll have to go to another timeline to find out now. Mm -hmm. Leo, could you load up the other timeline? I've looked into all 
possible timelines. Yeah, and, and in how many universes do we uh, do I shoot the cord of my own? Out of fourteen million six hundred and four yeah. uh, different realities, you did Super it in replays. one. You did it in one. Yeah, and that was uh, you were cheating. You had looked <laughs> yeah. up a walkthrough. People think there are infinite realities, but they don't consider the fact that a lot of those realities are just totally messed up and destroyed now. Yeah. So there's a finite number left. There's mm. like, oh, yeah, there's yeah. however many realities. But, you know, there's most of them we died off before we could really thrive as a species. So Exactly. So as new ones are being created, there's, old ones are... There's maybe 12 timelines that are actually relevant. <laughs> <laughs> if I had, like, a finite number of jump to different reality to relive a moment, yeah, I would burn them all on, like, Overwatch matches. Totally. Like, uh, it just, it, impulse would be like, God, ah, I should have gone left instead of right, or I shouldn't have reloaded at that time. Let me just go to the other timeline. Wait, if you had limited timeline usage? Yeah, I would them burn all? them all on freaking Overwatch. I, I, I think about that all the time. Like, if, if you could go back in time, but your body would still, like, age yeah. as if you were going through that extra time, I feel like I'd be super old at this point just from, like, redoing stuff in video games. Mm. Just from, like, oh, I shouldn't have gotten killed there. Let's yep. roll it back. Especially in multiplayer. Like, you would abuse that power. Yeah. Yeah, as a, a side note, though, we'd be pro gamers. We'd just That's be true. old, That's old men. Right. Yeah. We'd be the oldest, proest gamers. We would enter a pro match at the age of 16, <laughs> and at the end of that match, be like 19. With the full beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You really got to shave every day, don't you? What is his secret? You just go to a tournament, like a fighting game tournament, and just rewind until you win. The yeah, entire seriously. Tournament. I yeah. like how the, I like how that's how you would squander this gift, dude. Like there are any number of ways you could use it for the oh, yeah. good of. That's humanity. what I'm telling you. It'd be like just in the moment on playing video games of getting upset and just clicking that button. Like, yeah, I probably shouldn't talk. I would probably just like enjoy the same delicious meal over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be like it'd be super expensive, right? So let's say that I get a really nice meal with like a, you know. Nice bottle of wine. It's like, it's like a three hundred dollar check. It's like rather than pay the check, I just rewind and eat it again mm. and again. But and then rewind to before. But the problem and then don't is, don't go into the restaurant. If and your, save the money. If your body persists, I would be full. Yeah, you would not be able to do what you want to do. So I would basically just have to sit at that table and wait until I wasn't full anymore. <laughs> and then rewind. Could you, well, could you, you could leave and go about you your would, day and then come you all the way back. You would continually need to rewind. To that, to the point where you could empty your stomach. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It would just be progressively like you would be burning all of those chances. You could also on that. use it backwards and say like, I can just eat this meal as many times as I want. Oh no, but your body, never mind. Your body persists. Because I was thinking like you could fi figure out a way to make it so that you can just not gain the calories from that. Yeah, I mean, mean that, that's an eating disorder. I'm, I, I don't well, think I want to I mean, do that. It would take like twelve hours for you to have three meals there. Like if you have three meals a day. You would be sitting there for 12 hours to eat it three times. I don't know. It'd be a big meal. It'd, it'd, it'd be one of those that, like, maybe you eat two. It's the only meal you eat in a day, you know? Like, oh, well, then you're fine. Just eat it once. Yeah. You don't even need to use your power there. But I don't want to pay for it. Just run out of the restaurant, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is no overthinking this. <laughs> Turns is, out you don't need a special time power to just dine and dance. <laughs> yeah, there is, there is no... Your power does not factor into that. Like... You cannot not pay for it. Hmm. hmm. You will just be sitting there aging, trying to figure out how you're going to get out of there, but you can't. Hmm. Well, couldn't you run the same scenario of trying to dine and dash until you figure out a way to do it reliably? Well, yeah, but he doesn't want to dash. He just doesn't want to pay for it. He just wants to keep rewinding time <laughs> and eating it and not paying for what it. What if you Groundhog Day it where you're like so perfectly nice to the waiter and you know everything about him? And you just give him the greatest time, and he says, sir, it's on me at the end. Sir, thank you for eating here. <laughs> like the waiter or waitress falls in love with Joe? Yeah. I think that's the only way that it would work, is that I'd basically have to be, like, on this Groundhog Day, yeah. before the meal, I would have to, like, woo and marry my server. Self-inflicted Groundhog Day. Because then at least you'd get a 50% discount, because you're, like, <laughs> with the server. But also you could use your Groundhog Day powers to learn the piano and play it in the restaurant and that, get tips and pay for it that way. That's also true. By the way, you've given us grief for rewinding to be better at a video game, and you're just trying to 
not pay for a damn meal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, at least you guys are honing a skill. I'm just <laughs> spinning it into a lucrative career. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just consuming calories I'm going to poop out. <laughs> hey, it's handsome black. I like that none of us would improve the world in any way. No, no, no. not at We'd all. We'd just be cheating other people out of stuff. Like could, pro players out of victories. Yeah, people who are yeah. in <laughs> You could also bring back or hop into the timeline in which a, a limited time food was still around. Crystal uh, Pepsi. Yeah. yeah. What food good. would you bring back if if you could say like now I get to have this time limited food? Ooh, I think for me, well, I'm sure that there's a better option for this, but the first one that comes to mind is back when McDonald's fried their apple pies rather than baked them. Mm. You mm. just go back and mandate that, or go in the timeline in which they didn't have to change that. Yeah. If yeah. you could pick me up a salad McShaker while you're there. Oh, remember those? I where they wanted those. you to drive and eat salad at the same time? <laughs> I just liked it as a fun <laughs> vessel. <laughs> so I <could> salad from. <laughs> Wait, I do not remember this. What was the idea? Like, it was a salad in a to-go cup, essentially. <laughs> With like a dome on the top. Yeah, and you could shake it, but they wanted you to eat it in the car. With a fork still. That's right. Like you had to use two hands. Oh wait, so it wasn't like a like they didn't expect you to sort of dri- like tip the cup no. up and eat salad like a I think that was drink? like the intent originally, but then you realize there's just salad everywhere. <laughs> that's like that's <laughs> the equivalent of like saying, you know, we, I put this uh, cereal in a cup and now it's portable, but like yeah, no, it doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> I reinvented cereal. <laughs> oh, you know what else I would do? I would use this power to hone new skills like open heart surgery so i would go in not knowing anything about open heart surgery cut them open they'd be like no no no. what are you doing you're doing it wrong <laughs> show me tell how me how to do it, how to do it. <laughs> rewind time okay now i got i got him open okay now i'll just i try like, like <laughs> putting a random clip on something i feel like there's a whole story prior to this there's a whole prequel about how you ended up in the operating theater holding the surgical tools in the first place. Well, yeah, you'd have to go through... Well, how would you do that? You'd have to get certified to be able to do that, right? Yeah. Or, I mean, usually they only certify people who already know how to do that stuff. Yeah, no, you wouldn't get certified. You'd have to tr- somehow trick the hospital into thinking you are this doctor that's getting called in. For this one very specific surgery. Mm. That's the easy part. So that was, you'd have to <laughs> develop that here. scenario rewinding time. And then get in there and then try to do it. But the, by the time you get out of there, you're, you're a pro <laughs> at heart surgery. You know how to do it. Yeah. yeah you're I don't, a 70 year old pro. That seems like that has too much benefit to other people. Yeah. Not selfish enough. Yeah. Just not Dang selfish. Yeah, you save a guy's life, you change out his heart or fix it. Now he owes you. That's right. And then you say, hey, we're collecting it in a little different way in which you just give me the money. You give your doctor the money directly. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Us using our powers just for cheapskate ends. Yeah. But at the end of it, they'd well, be like. Well, I guess like, that's just robbery. That's not being a cheapskate. Just think of the bragging rights you have at the end of that, though. Like, they'll be like, oh, my God, what you did was so amazing. And you'll be like, that's the first time I ever did it. Yeah, beginner's luck. Like, I didn't even go to school for this stuff. You could do that for everything. Okay. Half court shots in basketball. Right. So you, you, you could just take a that ball singular moment of like combination of good good skill and fortune and just try to exactly. replicate it on everything. Just walk by a, a basketball court and be like, hey guys, check this out. Grab everything you do is <laughs> right, perfect. Right, right, yeah, everything totally. you do is amazing right. and perfect. All this power is for you. Like you just want people to be impressed when you do exactly. stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine you could take a peanut and throw it into your mouth successfully every, every time. time. <laughs> you could bounce it off the wall into your mouth. But then it, oh, then yeah. it can get really sad, like the movie version of that, because you at one point, like they, they cut it in such a way where you throw the peanut up the first time and it misses. But then like to the people around you, you throw the peanut up and then suddenly you're like 20 years older <laughs> <laughs> and the peanut falls in your mouth. <laughs> what peanut did, body. So, so the, the peanut, they follow, the shot follows the peanut, and as you throw it up, you're like your age, and then as it falls down, you have like a full beard. Okay. Just imagine the smell that would come off of, the, off of you at that point, too. <laughs> I also like the idea that it's like, during all this timeline shifting, you never once bothered to shower. <laughs> this is a movie script that needs to happen. Mr. Perfect, it's called. Wow. Everything he does is perfect. 
and you don't realize why until the last five minutes. Yeah, yeah that he just keeps rewinding time, but he keeps aging super fast. Yeah. In a day, he dies. Damn. <laughs> One day, he starts doing everything perfect, and by 3 p.m., he's in a hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> You kept a lot of the and then, like, the last act is really tragic because he's trying to figure out the best way to avoid his own death, but he can't do it because he's... Yeah, he, uh, yeah, not so perfect now. Yeah. He just uh, keeps rewinding to his final breath that's, over and over That's the over name of the sequel that would spoil the previous one. It's not so perfect now. So, there are actually... <laughs> there are elements of this story. Have you guys seen the movie About Time? Uh-uh. With, uh... It has, that's only Justin yeah, it has Domino oh. Gleason and it has Rachel McAdams. Wow. Like, and it's, uh, oh, and other, and some other famous actor, some old guy whose name I'm forgetting right now. But uh, that's kind of the idea is this guy has this power to sort of to rewind time, which he does to sort of optimize different parts of his life. But they, there's sort of a, a wrench in the gears that, mm. well... I won't spoil it, but man, that movie's actually like. But he it, gets caught up trying to throw a peanut in his mouth for twenty years. <laughs> but it's really good. I, part of what makes it re- like part of what makes the movie so good and interesting is that like it was billed as this romantic comedy. Like all the trailers made you think that it was about how this guy uses this power to win over Rachel McAdams, and that's like the first third of the movie, and then the rest of it goes in this direction that I was not expecting and really liked. It's a good, it's less romantic comedy and more sort of secretly an Avengers like, film, like speculative <laughs> drama kind of thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's, it's is really it based good. on a comic? No. Not interested. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, is but it no, in the MCU? <laughs> uh, yes. It's, it's the origin story of General Hux. Hey, it's uh, uh, from Star Wars. Wars. Oh, I miss you, my man. It's got the what whole a bad way to go. He died and got a polygonal crotch, apparently. Ooh, yeah. Good that's, for him. That's a good-looking Reiner he's got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I could tell. <laughs> I got an eye for this thing. <laughs> You're always eyeing people's Reiners. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. I was doing some research while dead. Mm-hmm. Finally had some free time. <laughs> Man, I miss him. He was so good. Probably the best character in this game. Yeah. There's a lot of pathos to Christopher Mills. Yeah. Memorable name. <laughs> Memorable character model. Yeah. Lots of, you know, hijinks and action surrounding him. This game will have a character model you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Mask Smith the only one who, like, gets cooler as the game goes on. Uh, I mean, Dan gets a more powerful gun midway. He got that gun, the gun the angel gave him. That doesn't answer my question. He he gets a new gun. Why does this guy get a whole, like, body makeover? That's true. He's a, he's an important character in the lore, I guess. I like that he's going through these, this character evolution. Yeah. He's no Christopher Mills, but he has no. a pretty impressive arc. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I hear that name, it's just a dagger in the heart. <laughs> Stop saying his name, guys. Too soon. Oh. Whoa! What do you say, Smellia? Smellia. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> that classic luchador phrase, smell you later. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was I keep, cool. I keep uh, reloading when I don't have to anymore now that he's all powered up. Wait, he doesn't have to reload ever? No. Do you ever make action figures based on this game? All these character models are pretty cool. I don't think so. They would make good action figures. <laughs> you could make your own Reiner. Oh, yeah. There's a whole... He can make his own 3D Reiner? Yeah, 3D printing. Yeah, 3D printing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he makes his own Reiners at home all the time. <laughs> Just, like, sculpting. That's uncouth. Uh... <laughs> 
No, but there's there, there's like a whole like the amiibo market out there, right? There's yeah. just all these like custom figures and stuff. You can make killer set figures. If not, I'm sure you can. There's someone on Craigslist who will be willing to make you a custom amiibo. Remember when 3D printers were going to be like the future? What happened to that? I think they Seems became like they the just present. Kinda, they just kind of <laughs> died off, right? No, I mean they're still. They didn't die off. They're they're becoming more and more uh, uh, accessible. Yeah. But everything you buy from them, the quality is just not right, right? Like, I've had gotten 3D printed little statues and stuff like that, and it, the material is just weird. Have you gotten them recently? Not in the last like year and a half, two years. Because like I I remember that they yeah they seemed like that way back in the day. They seemed flimsy. I guess the things that I've seen that have been 3D printed more recently have been a little seem like they're sturdier. But I'm gonna 3D print one of these guys. Go for it. I you need like who are you the gonna... full model though, right? Like I, I don't know if that's possible. I Someone have to create the yeah. yeah. You I... can't just say print 3D print this <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> No, what I think you need to do is just like start with some of the work already done. Like buy a Waluigi amiibo because mm-hmm. those are always the cheap ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then build onto that. Like turn that into Mask to Smith somehow with clay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I do. I think that's a weird starting point, but challenge accepted. <laughs> they have a similar body type and style overall. Maybe. Yeah, this game definitely, like, character design, they knocked it out of the park. Even the enemy design. Every one of these enemies I see, I'm like, whoa, what is that? Yeah. Those handsome men were good. Yeah, the handsome men were yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, it's totally funny, unique. Like- it, yeah, never seen anything like that. It's definitely a game that is that gets by on its aesthetic. Just like, look at this hallway. Have you seen a hallway that looks like this? It's colorful. No, I've seen a lot of them that are like more detailed. Yeah, yeah. But it's like <laughs> art. It's like art, though. Yeah. That's the. <laughs> Unlike other games, this one's art. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it, yeah, it's like art. Remember like, Roger Ebert said games aren't art except Killer Seven. Yeah, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. I love Master Smith were his uh, <laughs> last words. His guns are bitching. <laughs> and he didn't mean like the one where you that's associated with complaining. Oh, no, no, no. Jeez, man. You just own those guys. Yeah, you're mowing through it. Yeah. Well, seven <laughs> floors. Do you notice that, Surreal? A little Easter egg. Oh, man. Yeah. And there's an R floor. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> But that's also there. Roy! <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Roy floor. Oh, my God. Careful, it could be full of rules. Reiners up there, too. <laughs> the 50-50 shot. Well, we'll have to censor it if that's the case. <laughs> Vote in our live poll now. <laughs> Will it be Roy's or Reiner's? <laughs> What's this game rated? M? Yeah. yeah. There's a good chance it could be Reiner's. Yeah. Mild Just, uh, Reiner's throughout, it says. <laughs> Suggestive Reiner's. <laughs> Comic violence. Right. Oh. oh man, he did not like dying. No, he, oh. meant, he missed. I missed. Oh, his oh, he seemed far away still. Oh, well, it's because if you miss those guys, they they teleport and deal a lot of damage. Hmm. Oh, a lot. You always seem to die as that character. Yeah, it's because I only really play as that character. No, yeah. no, I don't think that's <laughs> it. <laughs> no, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, they got me. I'm a they caught me in a lie. I was hiding some other truth to that. <laughs> you know what would be fun for a Super Replay is if it starts out with 10 editors and we vote someone off every time. Mm, and so the last episode is just one, one person you know, playing through the game. That yeah. actually, Leo, that was our original pitch for last season's showdown. It was we were going to do Survivor. Huh. And then it was just like, it's impossible to get everybody together because everybody's on. We always have people on trips or out of the office working from home. It's, yeah. I it's do, impossible now. I do like that idea, though. Who would you vote off? Uh, first, the first person I'd vote off would be myself so I could get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone voting themselves <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, we might get more of that than we anticipate. <laughs> No, not really. I mean, I, it would it would depend on who's on there and what the game is and stuff, but, you know. I mean, it, yeah, it would be the game. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, a lot of people would vote themselves off like, I'm not going to be in this for 15 hours. 
Yeah, I'm I totally mean, out. I would have voted myself off of that Sonic Super replay, like, after the first episode. Mm. Right. But then we'd have to make the stipulation that you can't vote yourself off. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, or, you know, you just wouldn't get the most you know votes and you'd be punished. <laughs> mm. you, you know what try else? to get kicked off by being the worst so possible we, guest. Oh. Unbeknownst to the editors, the person who gets vote, voted is basically reversed. So, like, the person with, <laughs> with the least votes gets voted off. Mm. And so everyone wants to get off, but they can't. You know what? <laughs> I, I would try to vote off Dan Tack because it would make everyone watching so mad. Mm. Mm. You'd be the, you play the heel. Yeah, for some reason people people like that guy. <laughs> is it, or is that sarcasm? The people is like them him? liking him being on their sarcasm. They, they like him ironically. Yeah, like they're oh, like that's I, yeah. I, I, I oh, I love that. Dan Tack. I see Dan Tack. I click like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the tone I kind of get from the comments. <laughs> oh man, look at him tap X. Life infusion complete. How close are we now to the end uh, of this Do level? Do you see the finish line? We're, we're yeah, the of there. both. Oh, of the game? Well, after this, we still have one more chapter and an epilogue. So you think it's more than 12 episodes? And... It's getting there. Yeah, I don't think um, we can do 12. But it's fine. Like, we got to buy thing, our time it's, for it's, Suda. It's either going to be a very long 12 or a very <laughs> short 13 <laughs> at this point. All right. Gotcha. I'm just going to switch the mask. Now. Yeah, he's cool. His new outfit. Load already, buddy. <laughs> takes a while. He's a little stage fright. It's like GTA 5. It's going to take a little while. Man, that technology is still mind-blowing, in my opinion. <laughs> Going up into the clouds like that. I know it's you know totally loading the streaming and all that, but they pulled it off. Yeah, it's cool. It's definitely cooler on the remakes or the remasters when it's a lot faster than yeah. it originally was. And just you know seeing what your character is up to when you get to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, that game's so good. Kyle was actually talking about how he di he doesn't like playing as different characters with different abilities. What? Like, that's why he didn't like. Well, that's one of the reasons he didn't like GTA Five is that they all had all the characters had like different abilities, and so he pre he likes to have one character that learns all of the abilities instead of having characters with different abilities. I that hope to switch between. I hope the next Zelda game lets you play as Link and Zelda, and oh. he's just gonna have to hate on it because mm -hmm. of that statement. He's yeah, got to stand by what he said. Yeah, your opinions can never change. Nope. Especially stuff <laughs> said in conversation to Suriel. Well, we have it on tape now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True, and I was Historical a records of this. Hmm. Kyle's going to be mad at me for telling people that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the next... How dare you? The next Zelda has to have playable Zelda, right? Like, 100%. Does it? I mean... They have to. There was that whole thing with, like, uh, I think in Breath of the Wild's first trailer, it's kind of ambiguous as to whether or not mm -hmm. it was a boy or a girl. Yeah. And people were, like, kind of freaking out about that idea because they thought it'd be cool. But so many people are asking for it now yeah. after that, that last game. And then they have Linkle or whatever that they put into <laughs> Dynasty Warriors. And that <laughs> felt like a sort of like a, a, a an olive branch to that, to that community, and they were so, super wrong about what people actually wanted. Yeah, so I guess the question becomes, like, do you... How Nintendo approaches that, if they approach that in the future, do they let you choose to be a Link or Linkle at the beginning? Mm. Or do they actually give you like Zelda as a character? I think you just develop Zelda as a completely different character. Explore that space. Oh, but I think that's the right choice. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's what they're going to do. Yeah. But I mean, then they'd have to like switch things up though, because if you have if you have two selectable protagonists, they can't talk anymore. So we wouldn't be able to hear all of Link's you know, incredible voice work that he's done over the years, so they'd have to go with a silent character. People would riot if they changed the voice actor for Link. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> good, good impression. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that was me falling off a roof. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me hitting a barrel. Uh. Here's me swinging a sword. Yeah. Nice. Uh, cool. Here's me swinging a sword, but it's like the, the big one. It's like, yeah. Ha! Instead of like... Okay, but ha. now, how would James Spader sound if he were doing that? Yeah. I'm James Spader. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I, like, I like the James, the idea that James Spader has to reaffirm his identity before doing or saying anything. Hey, Leo, post-credits on this episode, can you have a clip of Zelda swinging a heavy sword <laughs> with that exact line that was just spoken? <laughs> 
I want to hear it. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, I want to see it together. I bet it works. I want to live it. <laughs> hmm. Mm. What would James Spader say when Rivali's Gale is ready? <laughs> I'm James Spader and Rivali's Gale is ready. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I've seen maybe two things James Spader has ever been in. In case you can't tell. The <laughs> Office and Age of Ultron? And it's, one of them is that episode of The Office he's in. <laughs> he's in multiple episodes of The Office. Or that, that, that arc he's in. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. You ever see a uh, secretary? I was going to say, I bet Surreal's just Oof. seen secretary two times, and that's what, <laughs> that's, that's that's what he's counting. Quote two unquote. scenes from secretary. <laughs> Which ones, though? You tell me. First and last. The first, sexy first ones. Last. Yeah. I'm James Spader. You're my secretary. <laughs> Ten hours of sexy scenes in secretary. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something I'd What like would that do to someone? Make them... Yeah. Watch something else at some point. Yeah, if you're gonna, no look one's that, ever watched. That it would just hours. melt your mind. I there think. are like yeah. YouTubers and streamers who do like, I'm gonna do this for 24 hours straight. I'm just gonna say this word for 24 I hours. I saw that, but what? I feel like you have to be crazy already to agree to do it. It's not like it drives you crazy. Yeah, Someone yeah. said a one word a million times, right? Right. Like repeatedly. Yeah. That. What does that do to someone's brain? I mean, there, there has to be residual effects no. of that. I agree with Leo, though, that your brain is already, like, at a point of no return if that's something that you decide to do and undertake. Like, that doesn't make you crazy. You are already crazy when you start doing that. But what if you're doing it for, like, charity or something? You find better Taking ways. Taking up I a mean, challenge. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're I, crazy I guess you and charitable. Yeah. That's... You're... I mean... It's not like, there's a difference between, like, I'm going to stay up for 24 hours, which is, like, not a cool, like, well, not, like, a thing you do normally. Right. But is is doable versus, like, I'm going to say this one word a million times, which is just... Seems yeah, like, we've seen what happens when you play a video game too much and you go to bed and you close your eyes and you still see it, right? Yeah, you wake up and you're insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but, like, saying something a million times, that's just got to stick in your head. Saying Logan Paul a hundred thousand times <laughs> is a 17-hour video on YouTube. Logan Where Paul, you summon Logan him, Paul, like, in front Logan of your Paul. mirror... But you keep saying it, so you keep summoning more and more Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Candy Man. Oh, and, then, and then you say Candy Man, and then you watch Candy Man murder <laughs> all of the Logan Pauls. You're somehow in this scenario. You're somehow safe. You're like so protected by a shield of Logan Pauls <laughs> <laughs> that the Candy Man can't get to you. <laughs> Built up a barrier. I actually really like that scenario. That it's, scenario excites me. The sacrificial Logan's Paul. <laughs> like just a million of them in Candyman. Yeah. yeah. Somebody said Gucci Gang a million times. <laughs> that was for charity. Wow. Charity asked him to do that, I think. <laughs> I watched some of that. It mean a lot to the kids out here at the shelter. You could say Gucci Gang a million <laughs> times. <laughs> we, uh, we voted by a popular vote, and uh, that's the word we want you to say. <laughs> what are we looking at? We are looking at... It's Killer 7. Uh, the uh, seventh floor. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> what is all this? It's a room full of flowers. And it was ours. They look like little jigglypuffs. The cherry blossoms? We'll find out. Way too much atmosphere probably describes Killer 7 pretty well. <laughs> We got to come up with questions for Suda, by the way. Yeah. I'm just going to flat out ask him if he is sweary. Okay. I'm yeah, expose. Sure that... Respectful. Just straight up. First question. Are you this other guy? <laughs> Are you the same? Are you creating seven personalities? Mm. Is this an autobiography? That's why it's so important. It's his most important work because it's autobiographical. Do you like me? Yeah, well, he'll by that point, he'll be offended and he'll leave. <laughs> so you guys will just have to shout questions at him as he's walking out. <laughs> I'm excited for that. That should be fun. Yeah. It'll be very interesting to see how he looks back on this game. Yeah. I'll wear that sexual shirt. <laughs> the things I always wonder, like, did they get enough time to do what they wanted to? Did the vision hit, you know, like, did the execution hit the vision? All that stuff. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to move and shoot at the same time. But we had to cut it. 
due to time constraints. Except they weren't. I think in this case that w that was never a part of it. Yeah, it was intentionally made. Oh yeah, I know. I was doing <laughs> one of my classic jokes. Oh, that's a good <laughs> classic one. Leo. Just jokes. Rewind time, dude. <laughs> think of a different one. <laughs> Do you notice I'm five years older in here? That's the best I can That's come up best. with. <laughs> I do not want to hear the other ones. Yeah. I think that would be the worst feeling, though, of like doing the whole time loop thing over and over, and then realizing you just don't care enough about the topic, but you're five years older anyway. Of just like I just I, gotta cut my losses. Yeah, actually, I don't actually want to win this tournament. It's just been it's been taking forever. But also, I'm ten years older now, so. I guess I just walked out of this tournament 10 years older for nothing. Yeah, what would be the hardest thing that would actually age you five years? Winning a marathon? Because hmm. uh, you would have to, like, train, train extensively. Body, yeah. Knocking out Mike Tyson. You know, Wait, stuff uh, like that. Current Mike Tyson? I could do that in three months. No, <laughs> like, old, like back in his prime. I could learn his punches and redirect his fists into yeah. his own oh, face. Oh, damn. Yeah, it would just be normal you. <laughs> 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 like, and with I, the most amazing maneuvers ever. Yeah. And, I mean, there's only really two ways that you that this goes, is that either you, you time loop the first half being... Hey, let me fight Mike Tyson. By the way, like of just like the idea, of, the idea that you you can just step into the ring with Mike Tyson, who's like always there, just like hey, I would like to challenge Mike Tyson. You know or the other one where you just find him on the street and say like Mike Tyson, it's time to fight, and he's like, <laughs> no, and then you somehow have to figure out how to convince him to fight you in the middle of the street. Yeah, that'd be that'd be tough because like it's not like you like if you need surgery, you don't just find a doctor on the street and like hey man. Will you please do surgery? The doctor's like, no, man, that's my job. I, <laughs> like, I'm, I don't do it for fun. Yeah, this is my free time. I don't get, you know. I bet Mike Tyson, like, he doesn't just fight for fun on the street. Yeah, he anymore. Does surgery. Yeah, yeah, for he fun. does. Yeah, he does surgery for fun. Like Reiner. Yeah, I mean seriously, like come out of there, a pro. Ugh, this is boring. Yeah, this is quite the fight. Good, Good music, though. Weak spots. Her waiver is so terrible. Could have upgraded it, but I forgot. Hey, yeah, you shot the iPhone watch thing. Apple can't, Watch. Can't you use someone cooler than this? Oh, she's the best one for technology. Oh, that was cool. You need the scope? Oh, yeah. Okay. The I, scope is pretty okay. good. I thought it was closer than it was. All right, I'm then. trying to take out the least <laughs> obvious ones first because he, he gets super fast after you. Ah! Oh. This is hard! Oh. <sighs> oh. We got to redo that. That got hard. That was a good strategy, I, though. Yeah. Just leaving the Iron Man mark. Would you have time to switch to Cone? When he starts At running? the end? Maybe. Hmm. Let me try that. What a game. I don't think that's going to work. You better just take your chances with Kaede. Don't make me say it again. I'm a Oh, actually, you should use Garcian for it. Yeah. Clearly equipped with the with the worst gun in the game. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it. Challenge mode. Challenge accepted. I can't. I, I don't. I actually don't think I can fight him. That does not sound like a winner's attitude. <laughs> I don't. I, I. I. I don't think I literally can do it. But I, if you guys want this to go on for longer, <laughs> I will More happily do that. I fear the day this super replay is over. Yeah. What are we going to do with ourselves? What? What? Oh. Man, we're seeing so much. This game just keeps giving. Yeah. You Could can we do, do another Suda game? We could. How do we recapture the magic? What's another Suda game? No more heroes. Flower Sun Rain. Flower Sun Rain. Silver Case. Silver Case. Oof. Michigan report from hell. Hey, we did that one. Deadly premonition. That's not <laughs> Leo. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got me again. Joker. Franken. Uh, what's that lost? The damned one. Shadows of the damned. Shadows yeah. of the damned. Uh, Is that him? Uh, I mean, he was involved. He didn't direct it, but that's Mikami. Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. that was like Mikami, Mikami and, and someone else. That was a. It was like. I don't remember his name. But uh, he was a different director. Killer is dead. Killer is dead, which is not a game I would want to play voluntarily. But we could. I'm a it's not like we only do good games on Super Replay. Or Let It Die. That'd be a really weird Super Replay. <laughs> that game's really long. I'm, it's I'm, also a roguelike. 
Yeah. I was really curious what that the initial because that game started as okay. Lily Bergamo, right? Monster, yeah, and then it like changed. Like I, I, I hear like it seems like Let It Die, like that game evolved into Let It Die, but they seem like so drastically different. I want to know what the what that initial what Lily Bergamo. Like. Yeah, well we can ask him. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, know what? We, we do need to ask him a lot of the questions we came up. Like, if you had the power to rewind time, what would you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your favorite Roy. Who are your top ten Dans? Favorite serial character. Most powerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder, because they've got to have different ones in Japan. Oh, man. And, like, tons of things have weird cartoony mascots there. I bet they're even more... Serial mascots to choose from. Yeah. When I was in Japan, I saw a lot of a little mouse advertising a sex th- thing. <laughs> it was a cute little mouse <laughs> with a T-shirt running around. Oh, oh. Running around like, like someone in a mouse costume? No, it was like this? it was like a cartoon, but he oh. was like running, carrying the sex thing. Okay. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a is can the you sex be a thing a Reiner? Or is it? <laughs> yeah. Like, like what it's is the sex thing? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Right, you need a Reiner to use it, or to get the most out of it. <laughs> okay. I'm looking up Japanese sex mouse. <laughs> Uh-oh. This, this can only go well. Yeah, the tension is mounting. What? I don't like the steward guy. This guy's a square. Yeah, I mean, we're here. he's here because he needs to be, not because we want him here. Yeah. Can you tell him that? Yeah, let me let me enter the secret text option <laughs> where you can tell the steward whatever you want that they added for no reason. <laughs> Confide in the steward? <laughs> Why? And no matter what you type in, it says, I understand. Mm-hmm. Of course, sir. Very good. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Did not want to see that. Are uh, you still looking at sex mice? Yeah, it's okay. not. Oh, God, no. It's bringing up a lot of those mouse pads with the boobs. Oh, mm. that would make sense. Like Surreal has. Yeah. Sex mice. Wait, Japan bioscientists produce singing mouse. <laughs> now you're just going to go on a, on a Google rabbit hole. <laughs> right. Where you don't actually answer the question you came right. with. Now Reiner is just surfing the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Super surf play. Yeah, I did not find this mouse. It was for a Tenga egg. Mmm. If anybody's familiar with that product. Of course, yes. Hey, Leo, course. I, I really want to know what this singing mouse sounds like. Japanese bioscientists. I'm on a link, but I do not hear singing mouse. There's no, like, thing to click. See I'll if see he's on I YouTube. Do, yeah. All right, Serial. He was just looking at his phone. Were you looking for the sex mouse? What were you uh, doing? I was trying to find the best sex mice. <laughs> CNET's uh, top five. Yeah, you don't want to be, sex mice. or consumer reports, you don't want to be yeah. roped into a bad one. Yeah. You're stuck with a bad sex mouse forever. Okay, you can do it. You're not going to suck this time like you did last time. Ugh. I think oh, I have the singing uh, mouse. Totally like, I don't know. Serial, would it help to hear the singing mouse or make this more difficult? Uh, it would help. Okay. Thanks, Serial. That's just mouse noises. <laughs> Scientists need to get out more. Yeah, I can. <laughs> hey, I'm singing, everyone. If I bought a mouse and it was making noises like that I every once in a while at home, I wouldn't think anything of it. it says, this is a standard mouse I've bought. No bioscientists produce this. No, wait, that wasn't the singing mouse? That was. Ugh. It was really? underwhelming, right? Oh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't oh, do it quickly enough. That was disappointing. Not yeah. you, Surreal, the mouse. Oh. You know what? Yeah. I think that's going to have to be a cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh, my God. Our first. Come back stronger. What do you guys think? Good good ending point? Yeah. Will he ever get past this moment? 
Bum, bum, bum. The cliffhangers, we come back, we have to try it for an entire episode. Oh, it's going to be a long 13 or maybe a short 14 episodes. I'm a cleaner. Can you save it? Uh, we will find out. Oh. I mean, we can just load it up before I started. I, I saved in the room right before this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So we'll end there. All right. Wow. Wow. We're, we're, we're stuck. We can't do it. Is I don't this know. the end? Could it be? We, just, we quit. <laughs> yeah. It I've thought about end. that. Martian Gothic, I was seriously like had conversations <laughs> with Tim. Like, do you really want to keep going? This is the end of today's episode. And it was Jeff Cork that was like, we got to finish this game. But Tim and I were both like, let's not do it. That's this episode. Bye. I'm James Spader. <laughs> ha. <laughs>